Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to take a look at Bosch's Palm Router Combo Kit and their Template Guide Kit. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off by saying this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this outright with my own money. I just was in the need of a new router, and I really wanted to let you know what I thought of it. Kudos to Bosch for the nice case. Although it is a little bit large, I'm really happy that the tool came with one. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I use this router like all the time. I think that it is such a useful tool for woodworkers to have. Now you can get this little palm router at most of your local big box stores. I know that Lowe's normally has it. I ended up ordering mine off of Amazon because the local stores did not have the kit that came with the plunge base and that's what I really wanted. This makes my fourth palm router I have had and the fourth brand that I have had, and this is by far my favorite. Now there's a few things that I absolutely love about this little router, one being how that the uh, bases slide on and off really easily and are really easy to adjust. The palm or trim router base has a knob that unlocks the base, which I love because it allows me to quickly adjust the base. It also has a micro adjustment knob, but I rarely use that. To remove the base, you just simply turn the locking knob and push the set button and the base slides right off. The plunge base has all the settings to adjust the depth and a latch to release the base for removal. This particular model has six speed settings and honestly, I've never gone up to six. I usually keep it between four and a half and five. My favorite feature by far is the quick release lever on the plunge base. This comes in really handy if you are gradually working your way down with multiple passes. You can set the final depth with the depth stop and then use the quick release lever to work your way down little by little without having to stop to adjust the bit height every time. That way if you're working on a template and you want to gradually step down as you're hollowing something out, you can do that on the fly just by pushing the lever and pushing down, letting go, and it automatically locks in place. And you can just continue to do that until you get to your desired depth. Aside from the plunge base, another reason I decided to go with this model is because of the template guide kit that you can buy to go with it. There is a locking plate that screws onto the plunge base that the template guides just snap into. It makes it really quick and easy to swap out different guide plates, which can come in really handy if you work on a lot of templates. Like I said before, this is not a sponsored video, it's just a tool that I really like and I wanted to let you know my thoughts on it. So if you've had this before or you're using it now, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this tool. I'll leave links to the router and the template guide kit down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.